just arrived at Leighton Moss. Minus three degrees. Beautiful frosty morning. Oh, I think we just, we've probably got about 13, 14 birds on our list before we even got out of the car park. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. Clear blue skies. Thick frost on the ground. <laughs> Marvellous. We're going to go to the Greasdale hide to start with, uh, which is a bit of a walk. We shall warm our feet up a little bit. Whenever you come out to places like this in the winter and it's cold and frosty, little bag of bird food, <laughs> some fat pellets, a bit of seed, and just drop it every now and then. And not only does it obviously help the birds, which is the most important, but it can give you the opportunity to get quite close up and get some half decent photographs. Um, but yeah, they're desperate for food at this time of year, so if you can help them out, always a good thing. made it into the Greasdale hide um, and it's dead <laughs> apart from one robin hopping around but the water's frozen and there's no wind the sun's out so it's beautiful the occasional carrying crow sort of flying through um, but no birds no mammals eerily quiet um, so I can't see the point in staying here for too long, so we might as well just crack on and make our way back to the other hides. This time of year, limited daylight, so we've got to make the most of it. Now, how many times has that happened to you over the years? Just about to leave the hide. Oh, there's a little dunnock down there. Um, and a marsh area flew through. Um, so it was a quick get the cameras and everything back out so I'm not sure what we've got whether we've got video footage whether we've got decent pictures I have no idea well that was exciting that's brilliant um, <laughs> so sometimes stick around and something will pop up but anyway <laughs> excellent absolutely superb I love seeing marsh areas it's one of Lynn's favorites as well she always gets excited We were just coming out of the Greasdale hide and uh, a robin landed right next to Lynn's feet. Um, so we put a little bit of food down for it and get it a little bit of breakfast to say thank you for um, coming to say hello. <laughs> it's amazing when you get that close to, you know, wild wildlife. Gives you a real boost. It's lovely. Got a big grin on your face. That's really nice though, wasn't it? Yeah, it's the trust, isn't it? That yeah. They know they're not going not gonna to hurt them. So Beautiful. Nice. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Robin. So I just found another lovely little spot there with a nice branch with frost on it and things. And popped a little bit of seed and some fat pellets you know suet pellets into the cracks of the the branch and things like that so you can't see them in the photographs and we had blue tits great tits cold tits marsh tits chaffinches robins all coming down to feed um, there should be some really nice photos in there really pleased with that um, yeah really nice um, turned out to be a really nice day so that worked really really well um, I think I've got some cracking shots.
time's getting on, it's getting on for half past three now. And the likes, we've probably got about 45 minutes left. Um, but we're going down to the Grisdale Hyde again because uh, we've been told that that's the best place to see the Starling murmurations. If one happens, of course, because they don't always. what 15 20 25,000 perhaps starlings has come through the reserve to roost but they flew off the reserve and just too far away I got a little bit of footage of them sort of coming in and landing they didn't murmurate though they went straight to roost um, so although staff said that was the best place to witness the murmuration I don't think it is so tomorrow we will try and drive a bit further towards where we saw them dropping in tonight and see if we can catch them tomorrow. Um, but now very impressive the numbers of birds. Um, you, know, you think they've finished and then another huge flock of about three or four thousand come in and then another flock and then another flock. Very good. So fingers crossed for tomorrow night, because tomorrow night's the last chance, because we go home the day after. So, hmm. different tactic tomorrow. Let's see what happens. I forgot to mention, subscription to the channel would be wonderful. And putting that little bell, if you want notifications, and uh, click on the old thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. See you tomorrow for more adventures, more of a wild life.